It's hard to believe this subject is back in the conversation, but here we are. Of course, I'm talking about the laptop backing track argument that's been going on now for about a year. And this all came back up, in my opinion, because of essentially a clever marketing gimmick by some festival organizers in Germany. So before we continue, I want to let you know we have a brand new interview out with Hardy. Hardy has written some of country music's biggest hits, but now he's going into the rock format. Half of his new record is rock. He's written some of Morgan Wallen's biggest songs, some of Blake Shelton's biggest songs, and he really has a passion for rock music. Great guy. It was a fascinating discussion. One of my favorite interviews I've ever done. It's out now. You can click the card on your screen. And also, we have a lot of returning viewers. Most of you have not yet subscribed. So if you can take just a quick second to hit that subscribe button, we would really appreciate it. So this new festival is called the No Playback Festival. And just briefly here, I've linked to this Metal Injection article in the description of this video. And it says that this festival will take place from April 28th to the 29th in Germany, where they've explicitly banned the use of backing tracks, hence the name of the festival. You can see their festival poster here as well. And they talk about how they're also not going to have any VIP experiences. And these are the names of the bands. Now, I'm not saying these aren't great bands, but I don't see any massive bands when you compare this lineup to other festivals. They're just not there. Maybe that has something to do with festival organizers trying to tell bands how they need to run their shows. Now, all of this got started last year when Falling in Reverse, a band that is really taking off in rock and metal right now, their frontman Ronnie Radke announced the band had to pull out of a festival, and he was very transparent about this. He said that it was because laptops that they need to produce their shows were not available. Now, it would be easier to list off, as you just saw by that lineup, the bands that don't use laptops for their live performances for than the ones that don't at all. And the reason for that is not, the sentiment here is not that if you use a laptop, you're faking the performance. Quite frankly, it's to the contrary. And I'm not saying that there aren't people that lip sync, but simply in the case of Falling in Reverse, much of their music is hip hop based. And, you know, Ronnie's made the joke, what are you gonna do, stand up there and beatbox? It's just dumb. It, some of the songs that they do wouldn't work acoustic. It's just an impossible situation. And at least he was honest. So the response by a lot of people has been to trash him, to put him down. I think also, and, and the thing about Ronnie is for people who don't like him or get mad at him, they, they seem to freeze up and they don't know what to do when he's right. And he's right a lot of the time. And so it's like some people are broke in their brains when someone plainly explains, no, this is not indicative of people faking their performances. And then they just go, we need to ban laptops. We need everyone to play in front of a curtain and a canister light like it's the fucking 50s. That's how you entertain the people when if you go to a show in any other genre, certainly country music, which is way bigger than rock right now, uh, certainly hip hop, certainly EDM, anything like that, you're gonna see an entertainment spectacle. It just takes the genre back. It's literally about trying to make the show the best as possible, but what social media does is they take something that could possibly be bad and immediately dumb it down to the worst possible example of what it could be and then mass apply it to every instance. And in this case, laptops are used for a number of reasons. I don't go to an accountant and say, if you're not doing paper math, fuck you. Most concert goers go see multiple genres. And if the argument is keep it like it was in the seventies, then you're going to have a hard time getting people to buy tickets. And this is not the environment to be smug and like demanding of the fans, you need to accept this experience because it's this is, is the real shit and we're not fake and you need to come here and pay this $50. If I'm paying $50 to go see a band or $100, $200, I want some confetti. I want all the special effects that they can bring and rock has gotten really good at that lately and, and, and it's entertaining as hell. You go see Bands like Slipknot, it's like you're going to a, a heavy metal circus. You know, you look at their production, you look at the show you get, and it's like, I have no idea how these special effects are ran. 
how pyro works and all that stuff, but I imagine it has to be timed somewhere. Let's not dumb down these performances. Let's encourage bands to be big, to be bold, to be entertaining, to be larger than life. And you know, that's what I see in Falling in Reverse and Ronnie Radke. He is, he's willing to be a heel at times. He's willing to put himself out there. And I think that that is a good thing. I think that, that you have to be a fearless person to do that. And I, I just think that for some people that he, he rubs people the wrong way sometimes. And I think that he's right a lot of the time too. And people don't know how to deal with that. A person who they don't like, they're right. And they just freeze and keep repeating the same stuff they've been told, even when it's already been disproven. So it's like, okay, well, we're just not having an intellectual conversation anymore. People are just more concerned about being right. And that's not productive for anyone. It's a waste of fucking time. Anyways, folks, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I, I thought this was interesting and I thought it was worth this kind of a video as opposed to kind of the more condensed videos I do. I, I'm, I promise you guys, I'm always trying to improve. I'm always trying to improve this for you all. I'm investing in all of this. This is not cheap. And it is, uh, I, I, I appreciate you guys more than you know. If I've never said that, I am so grateful to every person out there that, that has supported this channel. And it, it is a joy to get to talk about this music that I love. And uh, yeah, that's just what we're trying to do here. So if you enjoy it, hit that subscribe button and check out the recommended video up on your screen.